Yeah, it's a great. Davika says the impulse to get rid of suffering is so strong. It's hard to let go of this wanting to be free from suffering. So you you don't, this is what I was saying, really. Thank you. It's a beautiful question. You don't have to let go of the wanting to be free. You don't have to let go of anything. You do not have to let go of anything. So what, let, me, let me just talk about this quickly. This idea of letting go. Let's destroy it. Let's destroy this. <laughs> or rather illuminate it. When, if you, when you illuminate the false, shine the light on the darkness, it tends to just fall away of its own accord. You don't have to let go of it. So this idea of letting go, oh, I need to let go of my pain. I need to let go of my desire. I need to let go of my suffering. I need to let go of my anger, let go. So this is, um, you know, this is another just idea that we've been sold, that we've been fed. Um, I need to, I need to let go. I need to let go. I need to let go. I try to let go. I can't let go. What's wrong with me? Why can't I let go? I must be so far from where I should, so far from enlightenment. Other people can let go. All these enlightened people, they've let go. Eckhart Tolle or whatever, Jeff Foster or whatever, they've let go. He let go of his anger. She let go of her doubt. Let go, let go. So these are the, these are the ideas, right? So the truth is often when you're, you're trying to let go of pain or you're trying to let go of your doubt or to let go of your anger or whatever it is. We even try to let go of joy. You know, we can even do these things with so-called positive states. Some of us were taught as kids that the positive states were dangerous, that, that joy wasn't safe, that joy wasn't wanted, that excitement was, was not okay. So we, we can also push away the so-called positive. But um, so this idea, we have to let go of let go of grief, for example. Why haven't I, why am I still grieving? Why haven't I been able to let go of my grief? The, the mind tells me I, I should have let go of my grief by now. By now. This relates to what I was saying at the start of the call. Um, so the reason we want, why would we want to let go of grief? What does that really mean? Imagine having that conversation with grief. Grief, grief comes knocking, grief comes knocking on the door of the present moment. You open the door, grief is there. Imagine saying to grief, I have to let go of you. I'm trying to let go of you. Imagine how grief feels. If you imagine grief as like a little child, imagine how grief feels, how grief responds when you tell it, I want, no, 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 no. I, why are you still here? I need to let go of you. I need to let go of you. What do you really mean by that? I don't want you. That's what that's that's what the the mind's version, the mind's version of letting go really means. I don't want you. You're wrong. You're bad. Something wrong with me. Shouldn't be here. Get rid of. That's what let go really means to the mind. I need to, I need to get rid of this. I need to. You feel the lack of love in that. You feel the lack of heart. The lack of compassion. You start to feel the violence in trying to let go of a thought, sensation, feeling. You start to feel the violence of letting go. And once you start to feel the violence of it, maybe you are less interested in letting go. And then what you say to the visitor, what you say to the grief, for example, is actually I'm no longer interested in letting you go. I want to let you let you in. Forget about letting go. I want to let you live. I want to let you be here in presence. I want to let you in. It's much easier. <laughs> Letting go is impossible. I want to let you in. That's a much more loving, effortless, courageous conversation with the grief. Come in. I want to let you in. I'm going to let you. I'm not just going to let you in. I'm going to let you stay. Stay for as long as you need to. Go. It's like you come, stay, go. I'm going to let you go as well. I want to let I'll let you go, of course, but I'll also let you come back. This is this is the deeper meaning of letting go. This is the heart's version of letting go. You actually let go of the very idea of letting go. You let go of the very idea of letting go. And what's left is just presence. Presence in which that grief can enter, it can stay, it can be felt. And when it wants to, when it's ready, 
when it's ready, not when you're ready, but when it's ready, it will go. Not because you let it go. The mind think the mind thinks that it can let it go. It's all about trying to control, 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 pushing away, violence, violence. And again, this is not a judgment. This is just um, illuminating the mechanism. So when we're coming from love, we'll say to a thought, a sensation of feeling, come, stay, go, come back. You lose interest in letting it go. You just let it be. Let it be. And then it goes. If it wants to, comes back. Um, it's just less and less and less and less of a problem. It's less of a fight. It's less of a violent relationship. It's more of a loving, understanding, compassionate, friendly, meditative relationship. So forget about letting go in meditation. True meditation is not about letting go. We let go of the idea of letting go and we let thoughts and feelings and sensations come. We actually go the other direction. We invite them in. Come, stay. The ocean has no interest in letting go of any of its waves. They're too precious. The ocean of you, presence, has no interest in letting go of any of its waves. Not even the, the smallest. I think Jesus said something about even, even the smallest one of you is beloved. You know? So let the wave come. Let it go. Let it come back. Let it go and be... Be what you are, be the ocean, be the ocean, not in conflict with its waves, not trying to control its waves, be be the ocean. So that's the real meaning of letting go. So that was. I said I would do short answers. Apparently I'm incapable of that. So um, thank you for your question, Darika. It's hard to let go of this wanting to be free. Of course, it's hard to let go. It's not how you're built. It's not how you're built. Let go of letting go and just let it be. And bow to it. The wanting to be free from suffering is so ancient and human and sacred. And just let it be. It's just a, it's a wave in you. You don't have to fight it. You don't have to get rid of it. You don't have to cling to it. You don't have to obey it. But just let, yeah, yeah. There's a part of me that wants to be free from suffering. Okay. And there's also a part of me that wants to face suffering. And you can just hold both of both parts of you <clears throat> may seem like a contradiction or a paradox but really it's just you're, you're so alive you're so alive you're so alive part of me that wants to be free from suffering part of me that wants to face it and then there's no problem and there's no contradiction 